Hello, this is the Trade Tech U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday, the 4th of February and Friday, the 5th of February, 2016. Hope you're having a good trading week. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal12. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We've had a great week here at TradeSite. Love to help you out for a couple of weeks to show you what we can do. Huge week in futures, huge week in Forex, huge week in stocks. Uh, a lot of it on Wednesday, but even Tuesday was nice as well. Let's take a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the S&P futures. Uh, doesn't look like much, but it was a pretty exciting day. I'll show you the intraday action. You'll see it a little bit cleaner when I do that. Uh, here's a look at the QM. This is the oil contract. Oil rallied, uh, closing at 32.57, quite a move up, almost three bucks after uh, closing under 30. Uh, the prior session, gold up 14 to 11.41.30. The S&P cash index after being very negative for most of the day, gained $9.50. The NDX 100 lost 21 points. SOX up a point after all that, not a big deal. Biotech's up 33.84 after sweeping the new lows once again in the biotechs. We're still only five, six bars into the secret count there. Still some more downside room, really. VIX ended up closing down 33 cents after rallying several points earlier in the session. Trend close at 0.81, fairly low close. That keeps that 10-day moving average at 1.17. Been there for a while. That's not a number that gives us a lot of information. NASDAQ volume did close at 2.2 uh, billion shares, 2.2.5 billion. Best volume of the week so far, part of what helped make it such a great trading day. Mixes on the market breadth here. NASDAQ advanced decline ratio was negative 114. That means... 114 more stocks were down than up on the NASDAQ, but it was plus 827 on the uh, New York. So a little bit of a mix up there. Uh, Google closed down 31 points, retracing the uh, gain from the earnings from the other day. Apple, on the other hand, gained $1.87, back to 96.35. Amazon lost 21 points, big sell-offs in some of the bigger names here. Netflix down 75 cents. All right, let's take a look at the... Five minute chart of the ES. You can see the little gap up this morning and then the very sharp sell off for a full hour. We got a lot done in that hour. Some big future stuff and uh, some great stock trades as well, catching the downside move there. Uh, then we bounce back to the VWAP midpoint area over lunch. And then after lunch, right after lunch, this is when you got to be paying attention every day, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Some days they don't really come back and do anything and you just don't force it. We don't force trades here at TradeSite. If nothing's there available, you just move on, wait for the next day. But today they came back, look at the volume, look at the move, and we caught some good stuff in the afternoon as well. So nice to see two-way trading and both morning and afternoon trading. Here's a look at the, uh, in the end, obviously, we closed fairly flat for the day, ironically. Here's a look at the NASDAQ side, which closed negative. But again, the gap up, the early sell-off, very strong move there. All right, so what do we have left for the week? We don't typically do these market previews uh, on Fridays. For th or Thursday nights for Fridays because basically at that point the week is wrapped up. If, if Thursday ends up being a really exciting day, I may still do a preview uh, tomorrow night. But to get you prepared for what's left this week, uh, Thursday morning we've got the Challenger job cuts at 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. We've got initial and continuing jobless claims along with Q4 productivity and unit labor costs. That's all at 8.30 a.m. an hour before the market opens. That's the weekly initial claims numbers. 30 minutes in at 10 a.m. is factory orders. And uh, 10.30, the weekly Natty Gas, Natural Gas Inventories number. That's the data for Thursday. Now, Friday is the big one. We've got both trade balance and our unemployment rate. Those are both very big numbers with the non-farm payroll. Uh, all that an hour before the bell. So that's a number that the market's going to be interested to see, both of those numbers. Uh, don't be surprised if Thursday afternoon is not as exciting as Wednesday afternoon as people sort of stop trading and wait for those numbers Friday morning. But I think with all the action we saw today, there's a decent chance that Thursday will still be good. And then Friday could be as well if those numbers come in ahead of or behind expectations by much. There could be some real movement on Friday as well. So, you know, again, I think we kind of nailed this week coming in. We knew Monday would be a little slow. usually is. Um, Friday has the potential to be slow um, because it's a Friday. But with that data, anything's possible. Middle days of the week were the better trading days. We've really just nailed it uh, all through it, all throughout the week. And uh, unlike last week when we had to worry about the Fed, and other things slowing things down this week was wide open and gave us some good opportunities already. So uh, we will be in the lab helping you out. If you do find these videos useful, please like them on YouTube. It does tell us, it does help us out. Tell your friends as well. Have a great trading Thursday and Friday. We'll talk to you again this weekend.